Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we have remained with the four days to the final super massive mass action procession that, that will be taking place from CBD to State House in Nairobi. The big question on this pipeline, how many of you are prepared for this? Are you prepared? Are you ready to join the mass action? And what is your plan? That is our big question. If you ask Omosh, he will tell you that they need 5 million people to march to State House and uh, give a chance for Lila Mono Ding, of course, to take over from there. But if you ask Nuru Okanga, he will tell you that they need just 1 million people to march from CBD straight in procession to State House. That is enough needed mass to overwhelm this regime and get them out of power and have the rightful leader taking over this power. <laughs> so Nuru Kanga and Omosh have a message for you ahead of the super massive mass action. Listen to them, then from there we are going to continue this conversation just to understand how are you prepared for the upcoming mass action. Now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. For our channel subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, what's your view about this mass action? How many people are needed to march to State House? One million, five million, two million? Tell us in the comment section. But then in my view, I believe that when this mass action is taking place, those who will manage to go to Nairobi, they should go to Nairobi. Those who cannot manage to be in Nairobi, let them have their demonstration in their various sub-counties, counties, and a region, if really they are, because we have them still, or even in your village, because Raila has declared the 20th a public holiday. That will be a public holiday for each and everyone in this country who is feeling the pain of high cost of living. This public holiday is for the people who cannot afford unga in this country. The public holiday Raila Monodenga has announced is for the youth who are jobless in this country. That public holiday, it is for the people who are tired with theft of election. You just feel it is tired and it is beyond my control and we have little to do about this one. That public holiday is for you. So that you can claim your dignity, such like that in any other election that will come, then your vote, which is your voice, is going to count. We speak through our vote. We have power, right, and opportunity to fire and hire people into these high offices. But then someone has curtailed our power. We have a state capture of the people's power. And these people are controlling us to an extent our voice cannot be heard. So, the 20th public holiday, 20th March public holiday, is a day for us to go and reclaim our voice. To deal mercilessly with the state capture. We have people who are now controlling this country in many ways. So Nuru Kanga is talking about 1 million, Omosha is saying 5 million. But I know you need to be in that mass action. You have to demonstrate. Otherwise, if you keep quiet, because William Ruto has been tested for six months, and we can agree that there is little that is going to happen. 
He told us that he understand when people are hungry because he has been a victim of hunger. But we are learning that he don't care. He might know that people are hungry, but he cares the less. So what do you expect from him? The only thing he could do when he took over power, like any other president will do when you are a new, unahanga na pelemenda kwa watu. Ruto alikuja akatoa kila kitu. Kibaki came in, free education was there. Watoto walikuwa wanapewa vitabu kuanzia kwa primary. Sikuizi wananunua vitabu na kalamu. During our time in primary we were not buying books, we were not buying pen, we were being given. Sasa hizi tunanunua vitabu na kalamu tukipewa watoto wakienda shule. That is where we have reached. So it gives me a reason to get to this mass action. The big issue is that get out and be part of that story. Because we are going to form a new story through the mass action. Don't wait for anyone to fight for you. It is you to come out and uh, reclaim your dignity in this country. It is your duty. Someone is curtailing the people's power. But then we can prove a statement by being part of that holiday to use it nicely to reclaim your power. That's my message for you. So are you ready for the mass action? Are you hungry? Are you jobless? Are you facing insecurity? Do you believe in this government? The only language these people might understand is mass action. Watu wamekuja kwa camera wakalia tuko na njaa, no one is thinking about them. Watu wamekuja kwa camera wakalia wakasema school fees, no one is thinking about them. Do you have challenges to pay school fees? But uh, uh, it's going in the Eric Komoda alisema prepare your CV, prepare your papers to peleka state house. Wale tuambia hii ni serikali ya bottom up. Hata hiyo karatasi hawezi ruhusu Eric Komoda aingie nayo kwa hiyo state house. Hawezi ingia. So state house haikuwa ya hustlers. State house ilikuwa for few individuals. So this was not the people's government. It was not a bottom up government. Are you disappointed that this government promised to be the bottom up government but then it has changed to something else? Because what we are seeing is not bottom up. They say there will not be sharing position. The first thing they did it was to share positions. If indeed you are disappointed with all this, you have a reason to be part of the super massive mass action that is going to come. Be part of it, participate so that your voice will be heard. If you don't fight for yourself, no one will fight for you. Sisi tuko njaa na ile kitu tumebaki tu sasa ile lugha tutaongea nayo kwa William Ruto ni kutoka nje ndio ajue labda tuko njaa. If not, Ruto will be sitting pretty knowing that ameweza wajinga. Unajua Ruto anaona tu Kenya ni wajinga, amewaweza. Lakini kama watu watatokezea waongee wasikike basi atajua ya kwamba hii Kenya hamna mjinga yoyote